The seven levels of gaming addiction. And now we've all played a video game before in our lifetime, unless your parents were just ops. Unless you really hated them. So we all fall on this spectrum somewhere, and I'm sure you'll find out where you are throughout this video. So here we go, the seven levels of gaming addiction. We'll start with level zero, the friend's house gamer. Now this kid, pretty self-explanatory, he would go to friend's house and play video games, that's it. You don't own a console at this level, and you just play whenever you're offered. And it's never at your own house. It's literally impossible to get addicted because you don't even have a console or you don't even play. Now, once you try it out at your friend's house or whatever situation it may be, you play the game for the first time and then you decide, you know what? I'm gonna invest in a console. You are now at level one. Noob slash carefree. Now, I fucking lie at this level right here, bro. I used to be, I used to be way up there, like level five, which you'll see later. But now I'd say I'm a level one. I would just play whatever console it was whenever I felt like it, which isn't really often. My first time playing was a completely different experience than it is now. I remember the very first day I was introduced to a console. So I, we got the Wii for my dad's birthday. This was not for my birthday. And of course, I was really confused as to what it was at first. But the fact that you could choose what you do in the game, to my little Timmy mind, that was so amazing. But in reality, yeah, no shit. You can do whatever you want with your time. But apparently, it was like endless opportunities in Mario Kart Wii for me. And once I unlocked Diddy Kong, Nope. All right, goodbye. I fell in love with playing video games. Like, me and my Wii, like, the, the Wii was my fucking wifey, and we were about to get married and have a ceremonial-ass wedding. Okay, anyway, I'm getting off topic. But once you play on, like, a sort of schedule, like, you start to play, I don't know, let's say, like, an hour or two hours, you are now on level two. You get on with the homies fairly consistently, and now you spend a bit of time playing. It could range from, like, an hour to two hours, like I said. If the game has a huge skill gap, well, you're not gonna be good at it yet. You're not gonna be an absolute nerd at the fucking game or whatever it is you know you're pretty content with where you are in skill level and you don't really care to improve which honestly you know it's probably better or else you will fall into the trap of level three you start to get a little bit competitive at the game it's nice to be competitive in situations you know you're just gonna be a bum and get nowhere in life if you're not and this stage you want to get to the top you want to beat the game you want to get to a high rank you have the goal in mind to catch them all in fucking pokemon whatever it is because there's something about it just gives you dopamine just getting these accomplishments in the video game which honestly was now looking back is kind of weird you know i thought i'd get dopamine from accomplishing things like in real life but i guess to me as a little timmy it was all about the game collecting them pokemon try to unlock all the characters in mario kart which is when you start to play like two to three hours a day now i don't know the recommended amount or whatever it is but i would not recommend passing this level me personally because some people at this level begin to rage especially when you get really attached to a certain game you'll start to rage at it more. Oh, Fuck! No. Every time I died in Mario Bros. Wii, I would just plunge onto the couch and just start kicking my feet in the air, bro. I don't know. It was really harmless rage. But now we go on to level four which is where the toxicity begins. This is where people, some people, begin to start raging. Now, if the game is a giant skill gap, it's like fucking huge. They're gonna grind, they're gonna be on that John for like a while, and they're still gonna suck. And they're gonna suck because, well, it's a huge learning curve, and they, I'm sure, they're determined to get better at the game, so they're gonna get mad. And they're gonna keep making the same mistakes over and over again. Fuck, I blew to elixir again. Fuck. Oh, no, please, 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 no, 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 don't get the towel, no, and of course, yeah, this guy's, oh, wow, what a loser, this, this kid's doing his little hee 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 ha, thinking he's all that in a fucking bag of chips because he won a game of Clash Royale, dude, who the hell are you screaming at, uh, I don't know. But when I started to care so much about a video game, just the rage would just begin to build up more and more. And if you have like a competitive nature like I did with the game, like you want to be the best. So some people are just going to get bad and I, I happen to be one of them. Now there were other games like shooter games. Now these set me off the fucking edge, bro. Oof. Although them John said rated M, yeah, I was not fucking mature enough to play them, Jonathan. So let me tell you, because at level five, you begin to become very competitive at a game. And this may cause some rage, a lot of rage, especially those bad days where you're playing like shit. At this level, if you're not cooking at like every second of the game, it's a big deal. Now, I was heavily addicted to a few games in my time, like Fortnite and Rainbow Six Siege. It was bad, so bad. You know, all I would think about was Rainbow 
six siege and getting my rank up or fortnite and getting the w's or whatever it was those two games i specifically remember because it was my freshman year and this for me was probably peak video game addiction and now i was getting close to like streamer hours on the game it was getting bad even though i was making no funds none i was doing this shit for free bro i guess i wanted to be like the best out of my friend group i don't even know like i oh i just wanted to be the best like no one ever was at this stage i wanted to be like the talk of the friend group i don't know because we would all be squatting up or whatever it was playing duos maybe i wanted to get a high rank for bragging rights or something like yeah guys i'm a platinum and rainbow or whatever oh i got a 70 kill win we would all try to one up each other on the game basically that that's how it would go well for the ones who were competitive so if you had a competitive team if you were like playing a team game they will get on your head if you're doing ass which will just create even more rage and toxicity uh where's the bomb what did you say i can't hear you down there on the bottom of the leaderboard what are you doing down there get some fucking kills buddy you ain't doing shit for this team i'll tell you where the bomb is if you get a kill competitive team games are crazy bro i'm not gonna lie if your team composure gets fucked up like g fucking g bro you're screwed it's just gonna be rage central in that john no one's gonna be have like that right mindset nothing's gonna happen now at level six we have the professional this motherfucker either is a professional making the bread which you know what i fucking respect that w grind set that is pretty cool that you can make video games and make money in this economy that's pretty fire but if for that one motherfucker with ttv in your goddamn name knowing damn well you don't stream on twitch who the fuck are you and every time we kill them we would check to see if they were actually a streamer and see if they're like an actual active streamer and if they were oh you bet we would troll them and now there's this other thing that we would all laugh about which is why i never got past level five was because there, there was this thing that ninja did with like gaming stretches energy drinks and all this other shit and i promised myself i will never stretch before a fucking video game and i'm glad i didn't i'm and i'm glad i never drink g fuel to enhance my reaction time by like 0 0.02 seconds because it's got a fuck ton of caffeine in it that shit will give me the jitters and yeah level six you'll start to drink caffeinated drinks to enhance performance gaming stretches because one it's your job or two you're a wannabe that doesn't even grind like how can you even expect to blow up if you're not even streaming or posting videos whatever it's like you gotta be consistent bro just fucking around playing the game isn't gonna do shit for you now for content creators this is where they stop because well they have a life and this is where most people should stop if they've even gotten to this point and now we're at level seven and this isn't where it stops this is not the max there is a level infinity but at level seven this is where gaming begins to get in the way of life all right this is no longer a hobby this is your fucking life now you were slowly spending more and more time as the levels went on but now it's your entire life when you start to miss important things for the game or your whole day revolves around the game and if you even do go outside you will be repping the gaming merch i pause my game to be here huh he's putting that shit on look at sheldon he's dripping yeah they will have some fit on like this and this is where the discord moderator timing begins they start to gain a fair amount of weight and the pudge they start to get some pudge in their life and then they begin to neglect no. hygiene and all this other no. stuff for the game so they get the maximum amount of time possible they just throw self-care out of the window at this point they put the game over themselves at this point poor sleep poor hygiene poor self-care at this level but a level infinity it gets far worse now this level i'm gonna refer to as the sam level or the eric cartman level now these are two characters from tv shows i, I used to watch i still watch south park but total drama was a classic now this motherfucker sam had a ds everywhere he went he had that shit on him 24 7 some motherfucker could have been getting eaten by a bear next to him bro will still be playing his video game bro and there was even one episode where he saw the goddamn universe as a digital fucking reality and that opened my eyes a little bit like hmm, maybe this is a little bit more than a hobby for me now at the eric cartman level there was one episode in south park this dude game till he fucking dropped you cannot tell me this setup in this face does not speak true gaming addiction this dude wanted to beat some like discord mod ass loser at a game he literally grinded 24 7 he pissed and shit in a bucket it was pretty rough but it was a funny episode nonetheless but yeah and what did we learn from this the duck mish well it's an addiction once it starts to get in the way of your life and you get mad over the smallest shit on the game i know you enjoyed click it go follow my instagram and peep the spotify podcast link in description click the playlist if you're a goat click it right now